Hey guys, welcome back. So today's tutorial is going to be on this look right here. So I wanted to do something fun because I had new lashes that had a glitter band on them. So I decided to do a glittery lash. No. Glittery liner to go with it. So that's what we came up with today. This cool black glitter liner. I think it's cool. I like it. So if you want to see me go from zero to hero, then keep watching. I'm going to use some of the Glean by Melanie Mills Peach Deluxe Body Radiance. And I'm just going to put it on my face just for a glow. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade uh, Macaroon 230N. So I did use this like two days ago. And I wore it for a few hours and it stayed on like for the few hours that I had it on but I want to give it like a few more goes to really get the feel for the foundation I feel like it's hard to tell just after one go so let's just use it again so it's like full coverage so it covers everything as you can see it covers everything which is great I love good coverage And this is the brush that comes with it, so I'm just going to use that one, which is really nice. I forgot to use this the other day when I used it, but uh, I actually really like this brush. So as you can see, this is the coverage. So really nice, flawless coverage. Yes! Uh, and it doesn't feel like heavy on the skin, it doesn't feel... Like you have like so much makeup on. I think I even like this even more than when I used it the first time. Because the first time I wasn't 100% sure about it. I liked it but um, like I just wasn't sure. But now putting it on, I like it way more. And the good old usual, I'm going to use Shape Tape to highlight and conceal. So this is the shade Light. I'm just going to use this. This is a Zoeva 128 brush. Um, it's just the only brush I have because I have about 12 million brushes in a box that I need to wash. So I keep putting that off and just kind of taking brushes out of it and washes them as I go. But I need to just sit down and wash them off. But it's going to take me about two hours to do it. So I'm kind of dreading it. Kind of dreading it. And now I'm just going to use some of the Rimmel Translucent Powder. I'm just going to set the concealer. I don't tend to put too much powder over Shape Tape because Shape Tape does dry more of a matte finish. So the more powder you put on top, the drier it's going to get. So I tend to just use like a nice light powder over Shape Tape. Just really lightly don't bake over it. You can if you want, but I find I can't bake underneath my eyes anyway. But um, I find the lighter the powder that goes on top of it, the less it creases. And that's why I love this one because it's really light um, and it's drugstore, therefore it's cheapest chips. So, yeah. So I'm going to bronze using the same thing I use all the time. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is this one. Every time. Every time. Every tutorial I have fucking ever done, I forgot to press record. But it's a good thing I didn't do anything. I was just talking for like 10 minutes. So maybe it's better because I was probably rambling on about some shite I don't even know. But every time, every single time, I forget to press record on some part of the tutorial. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to use the this palette. It's from Colour Drain called Smoke Show. And these are the colours that are in it. So as you can see, there is no kind of like mid-tone brown or mid-tone transition shade. So what I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. And this is in the shade Caffeine. So it has that kind of like a mustardy tone to it. 
we're just putting it all over the lid and then just getting like a fluffy brush and just blending it out so I like to just kind of move the lid color around first just to kind of push it into the eye if that makes sense and then just wipe the excess just a little bit on some tissue and then just blend it out I sometimes just wear this as eyeshadow so because it's a primer so it's gonna like keep all the oils kind of down and it has a color so why not use it as an eyeshadow and um, I'm just going for more of like a softer natural look but I wanted to yep yeah. yep yeah. okay so yeah if I want to go for more of like a natural look but still look like I have makeup on like and I want like a color on my eyes like I'll just do this really quick really easy done and I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath too So now that we have that done, you can kind of see this is like going to be our transition shade. We can just go in with one of the deeper shades now and it will blend into it. I'm just going to grab a tiny little bit of a naked eye. Just this shade here. Just the tiniest little bit and just kind of dust over this. Just in case there's any little parts that are still a little bit tacky. Um, this will just kind of help powder it down. And it's not really taken away from the colour itself. So let's go straight in to Flammable. And this brush I've been using is a Zoeva 228 brush. Same as every other tutorial. So we're just going to work this in to the crease. Now I'm going to go in with Torch, the darker brown shade, and I'm going to switch up my brush. This is a Zoeva 231 brush, so it's just a little small shader brush. So I'm just getting some of this dark brown on the tip of the brush and just working it into the outer crease. So I'm going to use the brush stroke liner from MAC. So as you can see, it's just like a felt tip liner. So I'm just going to go in and do a wing. So we finally finished that so to everybody who wears wing liner every day deserves a round of applause because I fucking hate wing liner there I said it it's just fucking annoying I hate it I really do I like how it looks but I just hate fucking doing it so for the glitter on top I'm gonna use this is called black and black from lit cosmetics so it's just this just this black glitter here I'm going to use one of these little shadow shields. Um, I'm just going to put it here so any of the glitter fall off that I get, this will catch it. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the palette and get some torch. So we're just going underneath the eye on the outer corner here. So just taking a little bit of the black shade and I'm just going onto the outer corner here, just kind of blend the two together. Okay, just getting a tiny little bit of flammable here. Just on the tip of the brush and just blend that out. I'm just going to coat my lashes in mascara. This is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. I'm 
Now onto lashes. I got these um, lashes from Velour and they're their new lashes and they all have glittery bands. So I'm gonna, if you can see that here. So these are the silver ones, so you can see these a little better. So they have a glittery band on them, as you can see. Um, the black glitter ones just are not showing up on camera, so I just want you to see what I mean. I always find that when I do like a glittery eye, then I put my lashes on, and then when I take the lashes off, they're like there's a layer of glitter on them, I need to like pick it off. Whereas this, they already have the glitter on it, so you don't have to worry about taking them off, putting them on. Yeah, easy peasy. So I'm going to use the style Cherish today. Now let's just go and finish the rest of the face. I'm just going to contour a little bit more. I'm going to use Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. This brush is a MAC 138, I think. 138, I don't know, it looks like this. Um, so I'm just using the tip of this brush just to contour. And for my highlight, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty Mean Money Hustler Baby. And I'm just going to mix the two. This little brush I am using is a fan brush. It's called Strawberry Fan F42 from Sigma. It's actually like the perfect size for highlight. I'm going to use a little bit of Warm Soul Blush from MAC, just to add a little bit of colour to the cheeks, nothing too crazy. Almost forgot to highlight the inner corner, so I'm going to go back in again with the Fenty highlight. Just mixing the two and just highlight the inner corner. Yeah, for lips. This is a BH Cosmetics. I don't know the name because I don't have my glasses on so I can't see because it's so tiny. But I will, um, when I'm editing, I will put it in the description box. So I'm just going to put this on. Yeah, I think that's okay, is it? Well, it's going to have to be because I'm not changing it. So I was just going to take my hair down and be all cute for the end of the video, but then this happened. So, yeah, no. Fuzzy bun, it's just going to have to be that way. Anyway, this is it. This is this tutorial. Finito. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you like this look. I'm kind of into the glitter liner. It's kind of fun, especially for coming in to the Christmas period, which is my favorite time of the year. Oh, I just can't wait till it's like, till Halloween is over. I'm kind of over Halloween now, over the whole Halloween thing. I just want it to be Christmas season. Yes. So we will have a shit ton of glitter coming up for Christmas season, which I'm all for. Yeah. Anyway, I am going to say Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And that's it. I will see you next time.